just yesterday. It's just maybe the day after when I'm doing this. Anyway, I think we can say Merry Christmas like up till New Year's, don't you? You guys, Christmas means celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. And that's something we never stop celebrating. So who's celebrating here with me today? Hi, Clara. Hi, Amelia. Hi, Declan. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Alice. Hi, Bridger. I am so glad to see all you guys here at Kids Church with me today. So we have been having a super fun time all month long with the light show, right? And today is no different. So let the celebration continue. Silver bells all seem to say, throw cares away, Christmas is here, bring me good cheer, to young and old, be at the board, ding dong ding dong, that is their song, with joyful ring, all caroling, one seems to hear words of good cheer, from everywhere, filling the air, oh! hard to do. Anyway, okay, I want you guys to listen to these words from Psalm 98 verse 4. Shout for joy to the Lord. Everyone on earth, burst into joyful song and make music. Jesus, our Savior, has come. You guys, so let's sing with joy right now. It's time to worship. Joy to the world. The Lord has come. Let her receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature.
everyone. And we can continue to share joy to all the world all year long. And now before we continue the final part of our Christmas story, I have a fun Christmas emoji game for us. I'm gonna show you some emoji that represent um, popular Christmas songs, famous Christmas songs. You just have to guess which song we're seeing in the emojis. For example, if I show you three snowflakes, you would guess, let us know, right? Okay, wanna try a few more? What Christmas song is this? Yep, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Okay, how about this one? Yeah, one of my favorites, Silent Night. How about this song? Yeah, super fun, rocking around the Christmas tree. Okay, have one more? All right, what Christmas song is this? Yeah, you guessed it. Joy to the world, right? We just sang it. That was awesome, you guys, super fun. Um, so we are gonna wrap up our Christmas story uh, today, this week, and um, who haven't we heard about yet? We got Oh, yeah, those guys. It's Bible story time. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Matthew, Chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. When Jesus was born, there was a group of wise men who lived in the Parthian Empire, far to the east of Jerusalem. Now, no one knows why these wise men were looking for a special star, but it could have happened this way. Hundreds of years before, God's people had been defeated and taken as exiles to Babylon. One of them was Daniel, and through God's help, he gained the favor of the king. You will rule over Babylon and take charge of all the other wise men. Now, Daniel held this important role for much of his life, even after Babylon became part of Persia. During this time, he shared his love for God and his knowledge of Jewish scriptures with the other wise men. The Lord is the one true God. He has told me many things that will happen. Over hundreds of years, some of the wise men in Persia continued to study Jewish scriptures, even under different rulers. Many of them may have even remembered Daniel. So when several wise men discovered a brand new star, they knew it meant something important. Look, there in the west, it's a new star rising. Now, we don't know the names of these men or really exactly how many there were, but we'll call them Melchior, Casper, and Balthazar. A new king, maybe? Oh. Ooh, ooh. Can we have a party? The wise men hurried to the archive room, where they dug through dusty scrolls to find the writings of Jewish prophets. Ah, here are the words of Daniel. God had given Daniel some strange visions of a savior who would come and rescue the Jewish people. The time he tells of could be right now, depending on how you read it. So... Party time? And look here at the scroll of numbers. A star will come from among the people of Jacob. A king will rise up out of Israel. The star, the timing. I think this is it. Party time! These wise men did far more than just throw a party. They planned an epic road trip to honor the new king in his own land. I'll pack up the food. I got the heart for some road tunes. Who's got the camels? Ugh, you can handle them. I got the party gifts. The wise men packed up beautiful gifts worthy of a true king. Then they set out on their long journey across the desert. Due west. Follow that star. Oh, I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more. Yeah, I think I'm ahead of my time. After many long weeks, the wise men neared the city of Jerusalem. 
Surely someone will know of this new king. The wise men entered the city, causing a stir with their fine robes and curious questions. Where is the child who has been born to be king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose, and now we have come to worship him. And we got party gifts. In the palace, King Herod heard news of the foreigners, and he didn't like the sound of a new king. Outrageous. King Herod called on the chief priests and the teachers of the law. Where is this Messiah supposed to be born? Uh, please note my air quotes. In Bethlehem. Humph. Humph. How do you know? They are Prophet Micah, your majesty. He says, uh, but you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are certainly not the least important among the towns of Judah. Uh, a ruler will come out of you. Uh, he will rule my people Israel uh, like a shepherd. Oh, well, I see. Have these wise men come see me. Keep it on a down low. Soon, the wise men were ushered into the palace. When did this special star appear? At the perfect time for a party. I want you to go to Bethlehem for me. Search for this child and report back when you find him. Then I can go and worship him too. <laughs> Please ignore the air quotes. So the wise men left the palace and immediately continued their journey, following the star for several more miles. Look, it's resting over that little town of Bethlehem and that little house in Bethlehem. Time to party! The wise men soon arrived at the little house where Jesus and his family were staying. Mary and Joseph welcomed them in, and the wise men bowed low before Jesus, who is now a toddler. We brought gifts. The wise men brought out their carefully packed treasures. Gold. Frankincense. And this is myrrh. These are gifts for a king. Precisely. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. The three wise men worshipped the tiny king, God's very own son. Before they returned home, though, God spoke to them in a dream. Do not go back to Herod. Yeah, I could tell he was a bad dude. So the wise men took a different road, bypassing Jerusalem, as they returned to their own country. Think about all that led up to this story. The wise men had looked for a sign about a new king. Maybe it all started because of Daniel. Over hundreds and hundreds of years, these men passed down their knowledge to new generations of people. That's how the wise men in this story knew that God had promised to send a savior. The prophets talked about it. So when the star appeared, these men knew to follow that star. They wanted to meet Jesus, to honor him and celebrate him. You guys, you and I can do what the wise men did. We can take time to celebrate Jesus and worship him. And not just at Christmas, but all year long. We can do that with the way that we live and that we show his love to other people day in and day out. Never stop celebrating Jesus. Let's ask God right now to help us keep celebrating Jesus even after Christmas is over. Will you pray with me? God, it's so cool how you showed the wise men how to find Jesus. They knew that the star meant a new king had been born. So they followed the star and came to worship Jesus. We've had an amazing Christmas celebrating how you sent Jesus to be our savior. And we know that the truth doesn't end with Christmas. Help us share the love of Jesus with our words and our actions so that we keep celebrating him each and every day. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name, amen. It really doesn't have to be Christmas day for us to celebrate Jesus. We can take the cue from the wise men who came to celebrate Jesus as their new king. 
He didn't show up at the manger, by the way, guys. It was a while later. Jesus is God's only son, and he came to earth to be our savior. That is such a huge news and such a wonderful reason to celebrate all year round. Never stop celebrating Jesus. Say that with me. That's the bottom line I want you to honestly remember forever. Never stop celebrating Jesus. Whatever day it is, you can always celebrate Jesus. You can choose to share his love and treat others the way that you want to be treated, just like he did. Think about the candles that glow on Christmas Eve. Think about the lights on houses that light up the darkness in our neighborhoods. That's kind of like what we can do when we choose to celebrate Jesus. We can show how much we love him by showing his love everywhere we go. We can do that when things go great and when we're going through something tough. In fact, in our memory verse, we can remember what we're celebrating. Can you remember? Can you see it? Okay, John 3, 16. God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but have eternal life. Nice job, everyone. So please let your light shine this week and on into 2022. It's gonna be an amazing year because we're never gonna stop celebrating Jesus. I hope you guys stick it out with me all year long. So let's have some small group time. Download the activities from the description of this video and chat about it with your friends and family. I love ya. Happy New Year.